hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel indeed it's showdown as uh, september 1st it's just around the corner of course if you a quick recap a quick one the southern governors 17 southern governors have made up their mind that there shall be and there will be no open grazing hence the anti-open grazing law uh, being uh, being enacted quite across the state of course some states are still lingering behind but you know unanimously they agreed of course the presidency at some point insisted that he's going to you know reintroduce and you know trace out all the grazing route well as we speak me to allah have decided to stand on their grounds and you know it's, it's it's i do not know how it's going to look like but they're giving their points they're going to find out the point they're giving and where they're standing and what the president is saying before we go to the news proper we like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you say bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube as the September 1st deadline set aside by Southern governors for the banning of open grazing layers, headers have said they will not recognize such a policy, describing it as satanic. Headers, through their social cultural group, Miti Ala Katuhora, said the planned policy had been overtaken by events, even as they declared that the group was in support of the federal government's plan to revive grazing reserves, grazing route, and facilitate ranching in all the states. Which all the states? Mm. Well, uh, you could recall that as of May this year, 2021, another headers group, Meet the Alakatu Breeders Association, Mark Ban, had supported Southern Governor's ban on open grazing, even going through, even going ahead to challenge Northern Governors to follow the lead of the Southern counterparts. But speaking yesterday, the National Secretary of the Meet Alakuta Hore, Selah Al Hassan, said the members would not recognize any anti open grazing policy in the country. We don't recognize any anti open grazing law. Nobody can do anti-open grazing policy in Nigeria, where we are constitutionally guaranteed the right of movement and occupation, Al Hassan said, referring to the September 1 deadline set up by the Southern Governor to be the ban, the Asian practice of rearing cattle by movement. I quote him, I think that open grazing has been overtaken by events where the federal government is reviving the grazing reserves and grazing routes ranches are coming up across all the states across the straight states any policy that we hit up the polity i don't think is desirable for the country right now <laughs> i think they are just beating a dead horse after all how many grazing reserves do we have in southern nigeria 90 percent of the cows we have in southern nigeria are meant for business they are not there for grazing. The cattle are taken there for two or three weeks before they are before they are taken to the market. We don't even understand what they mean by anti open grazing self. Al Hassan said, describing it as devilish. That thing is satanic, Al Hassan said, of the anti open grazing policy. That kind of policy is satanic. Anything of Satan cannot prevail over light, though we fail. <laughs> Ah, Hassan threatened the governors over their 2023 political plans of power shift to the South, declaring they would not get their wish, meaning that uh, you are trying to uh, bend the governors. Yeah, 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 they are politically hungry. So you are now using uh, uh, your open grazing as a carrot. You are now giving it to them, say, low-lying low fruit. If you want us to vote for you come 2023, if you want the power to move from the north to the south, give us open reason. Come on. Come on. What is all this? Have, look around the whole world. Go to Sena Clems. Where do you see them practice open reason? Come on. Let's be the pause of Nigerians over this. This is getting interesting. And this is, I guess, is going to be part of the week. Don't forget that even the president himself is supporting uh, uh, open grazing, technically speaking, he said it's going to enact these routes. With all the security issues being caused by all this, we're still looking at open grazing. Honestly, I cry for Nigeria. 
this one here is saying let's see press for the post on nigerians of course nigerians are reacting uh, this is uncensored i'm going to take them the way they appear this one here is saying this is only happening because the state governors do not have control of the police the police commissioner takes order from the ig who is a fulani man mm. this one here is saying governors just give the order that people should kill any cow they see grazing simple no be by mouth <laughs> this was already for action this one is saying that if governors they don't need to use security agency that the people themselves just tell them any cow you see just kill that the people will just jump into action we don't want trouble no because that one is somebody's business when you go that route man this country just go up in flames please let's go through it the proper way you know just like you're saying that someone who starts a business you just say because it's not uh, obeying the law or whatever you're not saying you want to burn down the shop it's not right there's still proper processes and i think our governors are very learned and exposed i'm sure they know the laws and they'll go through the laws okay but let's continue with what people are saying this one here is saying I'm not surprised so many unlawful things happening, but we we guys in the South should stand our right because they don't obey the law. If our boys vex ready, if our boys vex ready for them because we know get security again, I'm sure we go for we we'll go for secure our land. We don't do the lawyer for this country. How this thing can they happen now? Okay, listen, it's a meteor shows they don't respect the law of any land courtesy of their grand patron this one here is saying anyway i won't blame Mediterala too much i would rather blame our southern governors apart from my state governor at akete akitikete that's um governor rotimi akere dolu senior advocate of nigeria san on the state governor i respect him a great deal over his stand i must say he's one person doing apc but honestly he's standing for his people despite all odds if amoteku will cost him his second tenure he doesn't mind but amoteku today is standing simply because he decided to take the bulls by the one well done uh, ikitikite but yeah this one here is saying let's continue what he said the rest are actually not um responsible enough they're actually looking at fulanis to give them what they're looking for this one here say if if does not i don't understand what he's trying to write this one here is saying this one here is saying what's giving this guy so much courage that they can challenge a whole state governor let me see how certain governors will handle this affair these people just go and ahead and talk this one here is saying we don't we do not need to recognize it cow should carry his cow and enter eastern bushes Gallant men are there to speak language cows and cows understand. <laughs> it is well. Known. This is yes, Nigeria, may God help us. Amen. This is yes, it's not his men talking, it's the cabal sending message to the southern government on September 1st. Hope Uzadima wanted to test the waters last week and the reaction was not good. He backtracked. His masters have come open. APC don't turn Nigeria upside down. Nowhere is comfortable for citizens. Everyone is in pain. All right, Nigerians are generally opening their hearts, speaking what they think is in their heart, in their mind, and they're actually telling all and sundry that Nigeria needs help. Honestly, divine intervention. But as it is now, I don't think it's wise for the mythic Allah's uh, Kutohore to actually go up open, openly challenging the governors. They should, have, they should have gone very diplomatic about it. Let's meet in a conversation. This is really getting interesting. What's your take?